Hello happy souls, welcome back to my channel. This is Charlotte with Happy Twins 1111. My beautiful friends, I've got three piles for you today and we are asking, what does your person wanna say? What are the messages from your person? This could be something that they're afraid to say to you. Perhaps you guys aren't in communication for some reason. We're gonna find out in this reading. So choose your pile carefully. Pile number one is the Wildwood Tarot with a Mazonite. Pile number two is the Bohemian Animal Tarot with Celestite. And pile number three is the Mystical Cat's Tarot with Mangana Calcite. So, timestamps are in the description box below and also in the comments pinned at the top there. Take your time choosing. You may be drawn to more than one pile. That's cool. It just means that there's more than one pile calling to you with messages. And remember, these are timeless readings. So make a note in the comments of which pile you've watched today because you may be drawn back to this video at a later date and you'll know which one you've seen already that way. So I really hope you enjoy it. I'll see you over at your pile. Hello, pile one. How are you doing? You have chosen the wild wood tarot. With this beautiful piece of a mazonite. It's freezing but sunny here in England today. It really is very, very cold. I don't know how it is where you are in the world. I'm imagining some, some of you are somewhere exotic and beautiful. Anyway, I digress. We are asking today, what does your person want to say? What are the messages from your person? What do they want to say to you about what's happening between you? I'm going to pull some cards first just to get a feel for the situation you two are in, you and this person, just so I've got some context. Okay, what's going on with you and this person? We've got the Knight of Wands, the Fox in reverse. We've got Justice in reverse. We've got the Four of Swords. And we've got the King of Wands. I feel like this person's left. There's been a separ separation because they had to, they had to go away and resolve some karma. There was a need for them to to step away and learn some lessons that had to be learned without you. They had to be learned somewhere else. This is definitely the energy of having stopped showing up in the connection because there was some kind of karma the four of swords is about recovery and transformation and we've got this beautiful butterfly here this is actually such an unusual deck the wildwood i really do love it um but for sure here this person's been pinned down pinned down by change evolution this is the need for them to be in recovery the need for them to be alone I feel like they have resolved the karma but that's what's kept them away from you and they're stepping back into their power king of wands energy is very very passionate and very very powerful it's the energy of leadership it's the energy of spirits fire drive forward momentum but still, we've got this energy of the snake, which for me is still about change. Remember, snakes shed their skin. I just feel like this person's maybe about to show up in your life again after a long absence. They've been changing and they've been growing. They've definitely been a way to resolve this karma and it's done now. And there's been this period of them being on their own. Let's see what they want to say to you, Pile 1. Okay, so I'm using a range of cards today. I am going to be using volume one and two of the Divine Love Messages from White Rose Guidance. She is one of my most favourite readers. You can find links to her channels and her website down below, but we're going to be using these as well today. And a ton of oracle cards. I'm going to get some animal cards out for us first. What does this person want to say to you? We've got otter and dragon. We've got the High Priestess in reverse. It's the Great Bear. I love that it's called the Great Bear. This is Judgment. We've got the Ace of Swords. And Strength. This person needs you to know that they have been working diligently. 
and they've become aware of so much more since you last spoke. They have been researching, they've been watching you, they've been studying this whole situation very carefully is what I'm hearing. They're very uncomfortable with the intense spiritual nature of this connection as well. But this is someone that's slowly coming round, um, slowly waking up and realising what's happening, recognising the truth, but really not feeling entirely confident with it yet. This is someone that's still slightly skittish. They're still slightly worried. What's that fear rooted in? Why are they fearful? The King of Swords. Because it defies all of their very logical scientific sensibilities. It requires them to see life from a new perspective and they're not ready for that. They don't feel ready for that. They're aware that that makes them stand out in the world and they don't want to be that person that stands out. But they're beginning to understand what's happening here. And this is someone that's for sure stepping into their power. We have a lot of Leo energy. And, you know, th this is the energy of moving forward, of having realized some truth. I feel like this person, you know, has been observing the situation for a really long time. You both have. But some truth has finally dawned on them. This person's coming out of the cave. They need you to know that they are now aware that they've been really busy, they've been growing. So interesting. They're still in distorted masculine energy. They're not where they want to be yet. They don't feel in control. They don't feel ready to face the challenge. We've got empowerment in reverse. We've got the page of cups in reverse. So what are they getting ready for? What's driving them? So they're releasing all of those limiting beliefs. They're releasing the struggle and they're still recovering. But this is someone that's planning for the future for sure. Yeah, we've got the lovers there. So this is someone that's got romance on their mind, but they're still at battle. This is someone that's still fighting the good fight. They're still trying to bring themselves fully back onto their feet after this breakdown that they've been through up here but they want you to know you know that you are on their mind that this is where they're heading they see a clear path now that's what I'm hearing I've got the nine of cups in reverse and the five of cups in reverse so they've still got some healing to do you know they're explaining here that their emotional um, their emotional sense of self is still very distorted you know, this person doesn't yet trust themselves to, to show up for this connection with the respect that it deserves. They know that they've still got healing to do, that they're still not feeling their best self. This is someone who's, I feel, it's probably frustrating for you, the viewer, but there's a great deal of integrity and sincerity behind the energy of these cards. It feels like this person is really doing what's right for you. Because I feel like they would very much like to rush forward. But there's a real sense of needing to do it right. Of needing certain things to be in order before that can happen. Let's get some clarifiers on that. This is the under roses liniment. We've got the dog. That's the ten of cups. We've got the cross. That's the six of wands. The garden. Eight of swords. The Rider, the Nine of Cups. Yeah, so they want this, but they still have this cross to bear and they have to beat it, this darkness. And I'm guided with this, like these white roses being entwined around the crucifix. You know, white roses are a symbol of purity. And this is like light winning over darkness for me, victory over the shadow aspects of self. This person sees this happy ever after. They see you as the companion. You're their best friend. You know, they want you to know. And look, they're holding up this yellow rose here. You know, this is a really beautiful symbol of, of friendship and kinship. You know, I do feel that this person, they don't just love you, but you are literally their best friend. There's more than just romance here. There's a deep um, abiding friendship that they just, they, they really want to honour. 
you know, and they want to grow something healthy, which means they've got to release all of that eight of swords energy. You know, this came up here for us. You know, this is the energy of of all of those limiting beliefs, those those awful shadow aspects and triggers that create unwanted behaviors, unhealthy behaviors. This person's aware now. They're aware of what their behaviors were creating. And they're trying to address that. You know, they want to be able to have autonomy and to, to ride tall in their emotional self. We had the nine of cups in reverse here as well. You know, they want that control of their emotions back. They want to be able to show up in a balanced and healthy way for you. These are actually really lovely energies. What else do they want to say to you, part one? What does your person want to say? Five of pentacles. You know, they are alone. I feel like this person needs you to know that they are alone. You may have been fearful that there's been someone else. But I really don't think there has. You know, this person's been getting through what's happened in this karmic situation. They've been recovering from this alone. Again, we see this image of the cave. You know, and they're just starting to tentatively come out of the cave to, you know, just beginning to recover. But there's still work to do here. Yeah, they're not ready for that new relationship and they don't want to show up and offer you anything less, you know, than what you deserve. This person wants to honour you next time. Yeah, so this cycle they're in isn't complete. This growth they're in isn't complete. I'm hearing that they want to say sorry. What do they want to say sorry for? So they want to say sorry that they didn't close off this conflict that you two had properly. It feels like there were really harsh words spoken, shots fired, someone charging in like a bull in a china shop without thinking and the other retaliating quite harshly. And I don't feel like that was ever resolved. I don't feel like you ever really discussed it or anyone, you know, took ownership for their part in that. Um, but they're ashamed yeah, we've got, this is so interesting, we've got the devil in reverse here. You know, they're ashamed. They know that they didn't behave appropriately. They know it wasn't the healthy thing to do. They're still learning that lesson. This is a lesson that's tied into their family's timelines. You know, it's, it's one that they've, they've been learning over and over for a really long time through their family unit dysfunctional communication patterns, dealing with conflicts. They don't know how to do that properly yet. They're still learning. And he's telling me that, I say he, this person is saying that the, these lessons are still in motion. How are they feeling about the connection right now? What do they want you to know about that? Stalker mode. Yeah, they're watching you. Heartbroken. And this is the emotional intelligence deck from my girl made for love. Find a link to her channel down below as well. She is also super awesome. Stalker mode, heartbroken, helpless and envious. Yeah, this person sees you getting on with your life. They're worried that you've forgotten them. You know, they're constantly, we saw this dragon eye as well, this keeping an eye on you, watching you, becoming aware. You know, this person's really checking you out and making sure that, the, that they've got you on their radar. And they do miss you terribly. You know, they are sad that it didn't work out. But right now, they don't see how it can work. They don't see that they have the resources or um, healthy foundation from which to make it happen. And they're jealous of how well you're getting on. Let's see what this jealousy is about. What's this jealous energy about? The lilies, king of swords. So that's that truth. What's the truth? The anchor, the nine of swords. So this is someone being, you know, jealous and envious of your clarity, of your grounding, of your ability to, to you know, acknowledge your pain and yet elevate yourself above it. This person's both envious and or inspired is what I'm hearing. You know, it's because of you that they're wanting to better themselves because they feel embarrassed that they're not as, um, as grown. This person's definitely got some kind of inferiority complex, for sure. Let me get some, where's my tarot cards? Let's get some, what's, 
What's that about? Yeah, because you're the Queen of Pentacles. You know, this person just sees you as having everything, of being so solid and safe, you know, in your own cave, your own home. You know, they don't know how they fit into your life in material and practical terms. This person has a real genuine concern out over the, their role in this connection and what they actually have to offer, which in their view, three of swords in reverse is just, we've got jealousy in reverse, someone broken. You know, this is another reason why they don't show up now. They just see themselves as someone broken with nothing to offer, just a drain on you. Yeah, look, Knight of Cups in reverse, literally nothing to offer you of any value. And so they stay away, they don't invest. It's really quite sad. How do they feel about you? Let's get some of these divine love messages cast. I have no words for your kindness. You are my muse. Give in for my touch, my taste, my lust. I'm taking my time. We have all the time in the world. And from volume two, I know who you are to me. You are my rose. You're the only one who understands me at such a deep level. Your beauty and grace captivates me. I think this is why this person is actually so very broken hearted. Because you really are their best friend. They miss you a great deal. You know, you really are their inspiration. You know, captivated by you, the only one who understands me, my rose. But they're very triggered by your kindness and generosity as well. Because this person really doesn't see how they can pay you back. But I do think that, that, as I said, there's an awareness now about what this connection between you two means. This person's investigating this. They're trying to learn from it and evolve from it. But they're definitely, you know, not quite as ahead of the curve as you are. They are taking their time. You know, this person doesn't, doesn't see the rush. Um, they're finding it hard is what I'm hearing but there is a spark now we can't move forward whilst you hold on to anger I think this is for both of you I never meant to hurt you I ran because I was scared and you say you want me and love me unconditionally but you don't seem very happy with who I am and I'm hearing neither one of you is truly happy you know with who you are this is the energy of, of, of two people that are still healing. You know, two people that are still uh, uh, trying to find their way in the world, but they're at least acknowledging now what needs to be done. They're acknowledging their dysfunction. They're acknowledging the unhealthy relationship patterns they've had. They're acknowledging all of the kind of destructive parts of self and they're repairing them. I feel like both of you are in the right place, even if it's apart. Um, it does feel like you're in the right place. Let's get some of these um, cards as well. What else does your person want to say to you, Pearl One? Looping, cycle of life and death, honour, bless and release the past. The space between your lives, if you can dream it, you can create it. And hang on, wake up your tenacity and determination. So I feel like they just want you to know that it's okay to be happy right now. You know, I'm really drawn to this space between your lives right now. And in, in the context of both of you being on a different page, both of you being on a different journey right now. And it feels like this person really wants to honor that. There's a ladybird, a more ladybug here that I feel like some of you needed to see. You know, you're on a different page, but you're studying for a common purpose. It's what I'm hearing. You know, each of you is going to, to learn and grow through this period. And again, you've got this white rose symbol, this, this symbol of purity here. You know, it's coming back to innocence, coming back to that, that, that perfect unconditional love that both of you need to release shadow aspects so that you can truly embody it. This is a period of transformation. You know, looping cycle of life and death, 
honor, bless and release the past. This is what both of you are doing right now, I feel. They're reminding you that these cycles go on and on and round and round and we keep re revisiting them from a more grown and wise perspective, a more evolved perspective than before. But you know, they've got this spark in their belly now and they want you to, to wake up and keep going as well. Wake up your tenacity and determination. Now remember, they came out as this fox energy this running away energy. Look how similar these images are. Completely different decks. <coughs> this is the Wildwood and this is the um, Heart Path Oracle. So this Knight of Wands, this runner, look, with his eyes closed and this fox suddenly emerging from this portal with his eyes still closed. He still doesn't see the strategy. He still doesn't see the way forward. You know, but he's waking up to that. You know, this is a new awareness, a new beginning, a new way of seeing things and perceiving things. So it does feel like this person's, you know, at the very least starting to gather the courage to make real positive and, and tangible changes. Right, let's get some guidance cards from Spirit. What's their higher self want to say to you, part one? What is your person's higher self? I want to say to you in terms of guidance and advice. Your ego is louder than your heart right now. Love generates love. And love knows no separation. And one more of these. So this person, you know, is really, really rooting for you. I feel like you're both growing at a similar pace, even though it may not appear it. You're kind of ahead of the curve knowledge and study-wise. But actually, it just feels like, it feels like your higher selves are rooting for each other. You know, you might be on different pages, but you're on the same book, you know, you're in the same space. And there's so much symmetry and balance and harmony here. Swimming in duality, laying a strong foundation. Again, look, duality about separateness. You know, this relationship is about coming back to unity. But you've both got to deal with these polar opposites first. You have work to do. Laying a strong foundation. That is so very powerful. But, you know, you've got to get into your heart space. The ego is the part of you that's afraid and angry. The ego is the part of you that's indignant, defensive frustrated, resentful, regretful. You know, the ego is the part of you that's in fear. When you get into your heart space, you know, love generates love and love knows no separation. You know, you guys are together in spirit and I, I think you both feel that very, very strongly. Your person definitely does. They're aware now of what's happening. They're seeing. They're seeing what's happening between you two. You know, they're seeing what's happening within them. They're seeing this growth, they're just emerging, but there's no strategy yet, there's just this spark, this desire to move forward, which for me is positive. But remember, you, you both need to be separate right now. This is swimming in duality, you are laying a strong foundation which you can both meet in the middle. It's just, you've just got to keep going. I really hope that was helpful for you, part one. It was a pleasure as always. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. It really does help my channel to grow. And don't forget to subscribe and tap the little bell icon beside it. That will mean you get an update every time I post. I will see you next time. Lots of love. Bye. Hello, part two. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the Bohemian Animal Tarot for this lovely piece of blue acelestite. And we are asking today... What are the messages from your person? What does your person want to say to you? I don't read with reversals in this deck because they don't have reversal back. So if they come out reversed, I will turn them the right way up. So what does your person want to say to you, part two? I'm going to pull some cards first just to get a feel for what the situation is between you two. So I've got some context. Okay. Let's do this. I've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Three of Cups. These are such painful energies. 
I need a clarifier. I feel like you, the viewer, had to choose between two people. You had to choose one and then reject one. You reunited with one of them, rejected the other, decided to invest somewhere else. And so now this is about the other person, the one you left behind, the one you rejected. I don't feel like they came forward quick enough. They were too slow, too hesitant, too scared. And so you made a different choice. What do they want to say to you? They wish they'd fought for you. They're still getting over it. You're the one. Oh, this is such sad energy. This person really wish, wishes they'd fought for you. They wished... They wish so much that they'd known then what they know now. You know, now they see so clearly that you are the one. I feel like this person doesn't feel like they can ever replicate what you two had. There's a great deal of sadness and so much regret here in the energies that they just wish they'd really fought. In truth, they never feel like they had enough to give you. At the time, I'm hearing there was some, you know, it was bittersweet giving you up to this other person, standing by and letting it happen because they just thought that you would be happier where, where you were. This is such sad energies again, those two fives. You know, that five of pentacles, five of water, the energy of rejection, loss, grievance, running away, you know, leaving you to have the happy family, the balanced family that they thought you were signing up for. What's changed? Destiny, the chariot, they can't help it. They just feel magnetized to you. Look at that, the goddess, you are the empress. The Queen Bee. Such a beautiful deck. Six of Cups. They know that you're their soulmate. So this is really quite sad. It feels like you're the one that's with someone else. You chose someone else and they let you choose someone else. They thought it would be the best thing for you. Okay, how do they feel? How do they feel now? This is the emo Emotional Intelligence deck by Made for Love, my soul sister. You can find out more about her channel and readings in the description box below and also where to buy these cards. Right, how's this person feeling now? Joy, annoyed, fearful, avoidant, repulsed, and foolish. These are very confused energies. This person wants to be happy for you. They do believe you're happy. I think they, they do believe you're happy. You know, and this, this brings them so much happiness as well, just to know that you're okay. But of course, it's also really upsetting for them. We've got this repulsed energy. You know, I'm hearing it just tortures them, that they can't stop thinking about you with somebody else. It makes them feel foolish and annoyed for not having stood their ground. They were too afraid, too avoidant, too scared of facing their feelings to, to take action. It's really quite sad, sad, sad energies. How do they feel about you now? What are the messages from them now? This is the Divine Love Messages deck by White Rose Guidance. You are my everything. I cannot handle any more heartbreak. My love for you is without bound. I know that the fire that burns in you is the same that burns in me. This divine love messages deck. 
I always hope to have you in my life. I desire you deeply and eternally. Thank you for your beautiful presence in my life. I feel like I've been missing you my whole life. You are my lost paradise. So, you know, this person, this fearful avoidance was from their past heartbreak. You know, they've been so afraid of losing themselves in love again. And they, they realise too late that it's you that they wanted, that this, this fire burns brighter than you than it does in anyone else they've ever met. You know, this is someone that wants you, that wants you back. So I just want to get some cards for what your situation is now. What do they want to say about what your situation is now? What's their guidance? You know, this person loves you very, very deeply. Queen of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Eight of Swords. I feel like this person has um, strong integrity. Um, and they're saying here that, you know, unless you were single, it's they don't see that this could ever take flight between you two. They're saying that perhaps if you were single and independent, then perhaps you could be friends and start something, start from the beginning again. But it feels like this person's pretty adamant you know, they're very much repulsed by the idea of interfering in someone else's relationship to their mind. This makes it, you know, inconducive to moving forward in a healthy way. But they do want you. Look, they've got the lovers. This is such beautiful energy. You know, this is someone that really is uh, crippled by regret. They want that new beginning with you. They'd rather be alone than without you. So I don't think they're looking anywhere else. What do they need you to focus on? What are you still learning? What are they trying to teach you? What are the messages from their higher self that you need to hear the most? I wish I knew how to love you the way you deserve to be loved. And this is why they let you go. They don't believe that they have it in them to give you what you really deserved. Yeah, I must be the provider. There's no other way. This person just doesn't see that they could have ever given you that kind of stability and that kind of, you know, comfortable lifestyle. I have big feelings for you, but I'm not sure how you feel about me. Ego blames others. Taking ownership of your pain empowers your divinity. Your energy asks me to grow and I'm not ready to grow. So this is why you didn't choose this person if you're really truthful. They were too flighty. They were that knight of wands in reverse energy. It doesn't matter how they felt about you. It's what they were doing about it that matters and what they were doing is nothing. And in real terms, even though they're growing, you know, they're growing at a really steady pace. You know, their ego is still blaming others. You know, they're not yet taking ownership of their pain. This person's still twisted by regret, twisted by pain. They're still recovering. They're certainly not ready for you. I have big feelings for you, but I'm not sure how you feel about me. And it feels like you probably didn't, you know, reveal yourself to them. So for sure this person... You know, they're not ready. What's going on with this person? What do they want you to know about what's where they're at in their growth, in their life? We've got the child. Yeah, see the page of page of swords. Still transforming those inner child wounds, still learning to communicate from a healthy place, still reparenting themselves. You know, this person's still still stuck. King of Cups, the house. This is someone that's, you know, learning how to communicate from a place of greater emotional maturity. You know, is learning to explore their own depths. This is something that you taught them to do. You know, it was you that understood them so deeply. That was the missing piece of themselves that you gave them back through those interactions they had with you. You know, they were able to start tapping into parts of themselves that had remained 
locked and hidden. And they're now at the surface. Got that Queen of Wands energy, the Snake Charmer. It's this Pisces Aries energy. The energy of the divine. This, whatever it was that you did for this person was a really beautiful gift. And they're saying, you know, thank you for your presence in my life. Their higher self knows that this transformation was needed. They know it was needed. It's like you've somehow reached into this person's psyche and unlocked something and it's now in motion. It's what I'm hearing. Yeah. It's been, this change has now been anchored and all of this stress, all of this anxiety that they've been experiencing, you know, is beginning to dissipate. It's rising to the surface for review. It's so interesting. We had similar cards in part one. But the garden, again, that's about releasing those limiting beliefs. You know, this is someone that's still stepping out of anxiety, still growing, tending the garden, though. You know, they're cultivating something now. They're, they're learning to take back control, to take back power, to take back mastery. So what do they want to say to you about what's next for them and their intentions towards you? What does this person want to say to you? We've got the magician and the wow and the high priestess, high priest and high priestess. For me, this is about really working together in the way that you, you are both most able to you know remember divine feminine energy is emotionally and intuitively receptive it's connected to the hidden realms and that all-knowing beautiful energy and source the magician is connected to the earthly realm it's about all of those practical affairs even though he is connected look he's got an owl as well and his wand points up to the light to the heavens for me, this is about you two working at an astral level as well to recognize that major growth and um, evolution can occur here. We've got moderation, which is temperance. You know, things need to be brought back into balance. And we've got that snake charmer energy there again, this snake woven around this queen's arms. You know, things are transformative for you two right now. It feels their intentions, Ten of Cups. That's beautiful. And that just flew out. You know, this person wants you guys to be together. They do want for this to happen for both of you. What's the bit in the middle of the obstacle? What's the obstacle that this person wants you to be aware of? Judgment. This person's not yet awake or aware, they're not really ready to face themselves. I'm really drawn to this black cat in the background. You know, the shadow self. We've got this phoenix rising down here, but it just feels like they're not entirely ready. They're still afraid of those steps in the dark with the moon. They still don't know what's real and what's not. They're still figuring it out. They're still truth seeking. It's the energy of the eagle of needing a broader perspective. And they're still transforming. Again, more Scorpio energy here, the energy of transformation. Remember, they're so intimidated by what you have. You're married. You know, this, you're, you're with someone else. This is a, a big obstacle also. So what do you need to know, part two? What do you need to know about how to move this connection forward? the highest good of both of you so this is the heart path oracle we've got this critical moment follow your intuition communion protective frequencies and the key to success open your heart the critical moment follow your intuition remember we had that high priest and high priestess energy where is it gone? There it is. So many cards out today. You know, you need to start working at the energetic level, you know, to, to nurturing the telepathic and astral nature of your connection. Opening your heart in these kind of relationships is always the key. It's always the key because, you know, and this is actually, wow, it's really interesting how it's illustrated here. 
see these two people coming together again we've got this ladybug these butterflies they're growing together the key to companionship is in an open heart when twin flames have open heart chakras that are receiving and giving energy in balanced harmonious ways they are then receptive they're able to give and receive one another's love this is when you move into union energies but you need to be guided by your intuition. You need to trust that the universe is always moving you and pointing you in the right direction. We've got communion here and protective frequencies. And I'm you know, really noticing how we have this swan in the, the shadow aspect moving towards the light, towards this portal. So it feels like you're being guided to really take care of the protection to mind and clear your space to make sure that you're not carrying any stagnant energy potentially that's a blowback from your interactions with them previously soul assistance and soul guidance unique perspective so many hours coming up in this reading for you part two you know, it definitely feels like this is all about moving things along the spiritual path for you. Sweet hawks, profound peace of mind. Trust that everything is growing in the right direction and tap into all available resources is what I'm hearing. You know, you have access to a wealth of information through your spirit seeking. You know, that you need to you need to tap into your own intuition, your own unique perspective. You know, your person needs you to know that things are still grounding, things are still growing, but keep focusing on maintaining an open heart and giving and receiving love in equal measure. We do that by loving ourselves. When we love ourselves, we open up a clear channel to our heart, a receiving channel. And that, that's magnetic, you know, that that's what that's what brings your person back to you. You know, you've got to love yourself so that you can receive love from others, not just them, but others too. This is this card really beautifully illustrates that, you know, everything is constantly in motion, in bloom and transforming. Um, you too, you know, even though your person is so full of regret, you are meant to be where you are right now and you're guided to stay where you are right now. You know, the critical moment when it all shifts is something that will be revealed to you as and when you need to know. Look, see that shell in her hand, that egg cracking open to reveal the truth at the critical moment. It's all about trusting your intuition so that you can be properly guided. And that means investing in yourself and investing in truth seeking, you know, finding that soul guidance within. You know, it's about focusing on yourself. But for sure, this person loves you and wishes they'd fought for you. It's really quite sad energies. It really is. Well, I really hope that was helpful for you, part two. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, if you did enjoy the video, please do tap the like button. It really does help my channel to grow. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, you can tap the subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it and you will get an update every time I post. Make sure you check out my services on my website. We've got the 1212 Portal webinar coming up, which I'm super, super excited to share with you. You can find that and all my other classes, Spirit Release Therapy and whatnot, on my website, which is happysouls1111.com. Now, I'm not doing private readings at the moment, but I may open my diary again in January. So if you would like to be notified when I do that, then please make sure you subscribe to the mailing list on my web website, pardon me, and you'll be one of the first to know. See you next time. Lots of love. Bye. Hello, Par 3. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the Mystical Cat's Tarot with Mangana Calcite. So let's give these a good shuffle. And we're asking today, what does your person want to say to you? What are the messages from them? This could be something that they're afraid to say. Perhaps you guys aren't communicating. What do they want to say to you? What are their deepest truths? And I'm going to draw some cards to begin with just to get a feel for... Um, what's actually happened or is happening in your situation between you two, just so I've got some context, some understanding. Let's have a look. We've got the Emperor, the King of Swords, the Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, lots of Aries, well, lots of fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, also Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I 
I feel like this person was probably your boss. For sure this person was a very dominant person, a very powerful person, academic even for some, very smart, highly regarded, a lot of power, a lot of wealth, but a lot of intellect and clarity and understanding, truth, perhaps even a lawyer. It happened so quickly. And it fizzled out so quickly, is what I'm hearing. This is the energy of someone that ran and left this fire burning that's never really gone out in you. I feel like, what caused them to run? Cat magic, the magician. rug pulled from under their feet they're expecting hot and lusty they weren't expecting this divine spark absolutely divine spark the intensity the intensity of this absolutely overwhelmed this person and they scarpered they turned on their heel and they ran hard is what i'm hearing really powerful running and now they can't face you. What do they want to say? The sea kitten. Page of swords in reverse. The ten of swords. The four of wands in reverse. The seven of pentacles. The five of swords in reverse. Eight of swords in reverse. This person needs you to understand they really can't talk to you right now. And this pains them as well. They've got this ten of swords. They don't want to argue with you and they're sorry that they hurt you. They understand why you, you hate them. They understand why you are so angry with them. But they really can't talk to you right now. I'm hearing it would not be in anybody's interest for you to... to to restart communication. It's no good to be picking through bones and picking over bones. It would only create a storm at this stage. This is not the time for union. It's not the time for you guys to be together. They can't be that person for you right now. Right now they're trying to invest in growing something else. What is that? What is this thing that they're investing in? This work. Right now they need to put the career situation first. This is a collaborative exercise. Again, it may be the case that you work with this person, but for sure there is some kind of very important project happening. And this is a, a, a life-changing, career-shifting moment for this person, as I understand it. You know, they had no choice and they didn't want to fight with you. You know, they didn't want to hold on to regret. But they're saying that you don't really see things as they truly are. There's um, a piece of the puzzle missing because you took everything so personally. And, you know, their, their approach was very pragmatic, very cold. It was very pragmatic and very cold. And so, you know, them running away in haste and never really offering you an explanation to you is tantamount to abusive after the intensity of, of the, the spark that was ignited in both of you. So there's a lot of anger here. But this person's pretty furious at your emotional intensity, truth be known. You know, they're saying that even though it, it happened so quickly, they didn't owe you that. You know, that everyone's allowed to make a decision for themselves. Um, and that them choosing their career wasn't um, a statement about your self-worth, which is how you interpreted it, is what I'm hearing. You know, you, you interpret it as, as them rejecting you because they chose something else. But I'm hearing that this is truthfully an important or um, really important part of their life that has to be, you know, it has to be fulfilled. What else do they need you to know about this? 
with the Hermit in reverse. And the Sky Queen, look at that. They're saying that you've been fo so focused on them that you're not looking at your... Um, you're not exploring your own opportunities for growth and creation. This person's asking you to take the focus off them, to respect and understand that they have a mission that they need to fulfill and that you do as well. What do they want to say to you about that? Wow, the sea queen in reverse. Yours is about love, it's about learning love. It's about learning to be happy again. Look, we've got grace, temperance. It's learning to fill your own cup. And you know, their energy now is much more gentle and compassionate than this cold person you've seen. This is why you fell in love with this person, because you saw beneath the surface of this energy. They present them to this, themselves to the world in such a, a cold and um, calculating almost way. Very charming, very efficient. But they're asking you to stop focusing on them and to start focusing on you. You have a higher mission that's beyond the, the intellectual projects that you may indeed share. You know, the mission for you is to truly release unhealthy attachment, to, to reinstate purity and divine love for self. And you don't love yourself. You think you do, but you haven't purged all of that inner child stuff to really arrive at grace yet. You haven't arrived at that filling your own cup, feeling perfectly aligned and optimistic about the future. You know, your person's saying that you're still grieving and you need to let go. This is a moment where you, you let go. You've got to let go. Seven of cups in reverse. They're saying they do daydream about you. They didn't want to leave. But both of you had to learn. This person saying that the, the impact you two will have is global as well, like a global impact. The work you do will be global for you. What the other obstacles right now? What are the obstacles that this person wants to communicate to you? The dog, the bear, the crossroads, and the ring. They can't take the responsibilities right now that you, you know, we've got the dog and the bear as an obstacle. This is the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles. These are union energies and this crossroads down here with this queen of wands. They had to take a different path right now. You wanted this commitment, this new beginning, you know, the ring. They just weren't ready for that. How do they feel about you though? Let's get some of these cards. These are the White Rose Guidance cards. I've got two decks here. Divine Love Messages, Volume 1 and Volume 2. I'll put a link down below to her channel. She's an absolutely amazing reader. I love her. Um, let's have a look. I can see eternity in your eyes. I live for your smile and would die for your kiss. I'm burning with passion for you. You are so precious to me. I know who you are to me. You are my rose. Your beauty and grace captivates me. And I find you in music. This passion this burning with that Ace of Wands energy. This person is, um, I 
they're all up in their head. This is someone who indulges the fantasy and then just puts on their suit and strolls into their day like it's not even happening for them. Do you know what I mean? This is someone who's got like this secret world, this secret life inside of themselves. But they find you in music. This is their solace. You know, this person's not saying that they don't love you. They're saying not now. And they can just shut that down. They can close that part of themselves off and they can move forward with this in a way which, you know, you can't, that you're struggling to, but they're imploring you to. You know, they're begging you to. What is it they want you to be doing right now? What's the guidance to you? What does the higher self want to let you know? We've got the two of pentacles in reverse. The ten of cups in reverse. The five of wands in reverse. And the high priestess in reverse. This person is very firmly saying, I can't do this right now. I can't be the person you want me to be. I can't play happy families. I can't rise up to this challenge. I can't acknowledge this connection. I can't change how things are right now. This person's digging their heels in. They want to be crystal clear that nothing's going to happen anytime soon. So what do they want you to do? We've got the grave, the nine of wands, the key. The Eight of Wands, the Garden, the Eight of Swords, and the Letter, the Seven of Swords. The Nine of Wands is about endurance, and I feel like they're suggesting you need to endure through this change. You know, they're, they're reminding you that you will find a light at the end of this. You know, the Eight of Wands is all about fast forward movement. It came up previously, it's what they run away from, that intensity, you know, but here, you know, that fast forward energy and being aligned with that, that energy of destiny, that energy of fate is the key to you moving forward and cultivating a much healthier state of mind around this. I do feel like with the letter coming up and the seven of swords, this person's asking you to stop communicating. And that if you need to communicate with them, you need to be strategic about it. Why is that? Why is that? The sickle. The ship, ten of swords, it would create pain. There is some other connection. There's a ten and a three here. Yeah, and the locket. There is some other connection. You know, it would, be, it would be perceived as some kind of romance. It would get them in trouble. So perhaps this person is with somebody else. But they're asking you to, you know, this person needs you to move forward. They need to recognise you have the key to unlock everything you need and want. But it's right now, it's not with them. That you need to focus on yourself. Um... You know, this person cares about you very deeply. You're like their guilty secret. But for sure, you know, they need you to be focused on yourself. They can't face this connection right now. You know, that they're, they're, they've chosen a different path. Remember that crossroads energy, you know, they've chosen, there it is, they've chosen a different path. And you've got to choose a different path. You know, you may come back together again later, but for now... You know, this is the energy of you two really being focused on where you're meant to be going. <sighs> Heavy. Okay, let's get some of these messages. These are cards I've written on myself. What do they want to say? I have unhealthy habits and addictions and I'm not ready to face them. I'm not all the bad things you think I am. We are the same. I turn everything into an argument because I don't know how to communicate and we have very different values in life and love. I am not on the same evolutionary frequency as you yet. I have to rise up and meet you. And no matter how hard I try, it's never enough for you. I want you to and I'm thinking about how to make a move. And to be clear, I think they're always thinking this. But, you know, I genuinely don't get the impression this is something they want to do right now. It feels like 
this person really wants to keep their distance, that they're very firm in saying, I've chosen something else and it feels like a career decision. If they are in a relationship, it feels very immature and shallow to me. You know, it's something that it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's company, it's companionship, it's a, a, a teammate, you know. But we've got this, I have unhealthy addictions. You know, this person isn't ready to grow in the way that you're ready to grow. You know, you are just on a different stage of your journey and you need to focus on yours. You know, this person is saying right now you are still so different and that they don't know how to communicate in a healthy way. They don't know how to make you happy. You know, this person's still struggling with figuring out how to make themselves happy. And actually, they're not really focused on that. You know, they're focused on um, making money. It's what they're focused on to be, you know, and there, there is some higher mission connected to that. But this person's strategic. They are pragmatic. You know, they are shrewd. The guidance for them, swimming in duality. This came up for one of the other piles as well. You know, laying a strong foundation. Just recognize that even though you're opposite extremes right now, you know, you're both building something valuable that contributes to the whole. The ever-evolving mystery, release the joy. You know, trust that this is going to keep unfolding in the way it's meant to. You don't need to know everything now. Heart, mind, transformative space. You made a di you make a difference. You know, you do make a difference to this person's world, and you continue to. There's so much gratitude here for you from this person. You know, they need you to know that you have changed them, and they're just not ready to change in the way you want and need them to. The way out. Something is good. Something good is on its way. Birthing a new life. And the holy grail. Expand your heart and mind, this is a time to be reborn, you know, this is a time for you to really focus on you, to really focus on your own divinity, your own growth, the transformation that's already occurred within you, you're ready to release it and to let go, something good is coming, you know, and this is for both of you, I feel like both of you are moving through this portal, which is bringing you towards well, it's bringing you closer to fresh perspective. It's bringing you closer to teamwork. I've got these little chipmunks down here, more butterflies, more growth. And then these people actually woven in to the root system here. You know, this feel like, feels like you two are stepping into a completely new phase, but you're required to work, you know, separately right now, swimming in duality, you know, preparing for the next stage. You need to trust pile three. I really hope that helped. I'm sending you lots and lots of love and thanking you as always for tuning in. And if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. It really does help my channel to grow. And don't forget to comment down below as well and tell me what you think. I really do love hearing from you guys. And hopefully I will see you next time. If you'd like to book a reading with me, please be notified that I'm not doing those now, maybe until January. If you would like to be one of the first to know when I open slots in my diary again, please make sure you subscribe to my website. It's at happysouls1111.com. Once you're on that mailing list, you will be one of the first to find out. You can also find all of my webinars there, my classes and spirit release therapy. The next webinar coming up is the 1212 portal on the 12th of December. Very excited to share that with you. You can find all the information in the description box below. I hope to see you there. Lots of love. See you next time. Bye.